Think about some of the things you do and say. It's talking to you. Amen. Now, the reason why we've got to hear with our heart is because the natural man cannot hear the things of God. And if you turn to 1 Corinthians 2.14, the natural man received not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolish unto him. And he cannot know them because they are spiritually judged or spiritually discerned. So the flesh, this ear, the flesh, don't understand anything. When you're out there talking to the person who is who's not born again, who don't know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, they don't understand what you're saying. That's why how many times, even in the church, there was such a conflict on turning the other cheek. Somebody hit me in my face. I got to tell y'all what. Oh, no. Spit on me? Please. It's a fight here today. Now, we're talking about church folk. Your mother said, I got to hit you if you spit on me. We're talking about church folk. Okay? But if that flesh is stronger than the spirit, oh, you're going to hit them. You're going to do more than hit them. I'm here to tell you today, you will do more than hit them if they spit on you, especially if they spit in your face. But you stand in the word of God. You strengthen that inner man. Saints, all of this is our choice. Everything that God has given and presented to us through his word, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, everything that he presents to us, it's our choice. It's our choice to receive or not to receive. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. This flesh is going along for the ride. We see ourselves in here worshiping him, throwing up holy hands, praising his holy name. The spirit is doing that. Flesh is going for a ride. So if you're sitting doing praise and worship and just... Whew, flesh is getting so bored, looking at the time. Stand, you get up and walk out, get yourself a drink, come back. You go out, go to the bathroom, you come back, you get up, you go outside, walk around the building a few times. They should be done by now, and I sit down. Flesh got the upper hand. Flesh has gotten the upper hand. But any time there's a moment of praise, oh, that spirit's going to run to it. Because that spirit's connected to God. And this is a time for me to give my father praise, worship, glory, and honor unto him for who he is, for what he's done. We don't understand what he's done for us. We truly don't understand what he's done for us. After that clip that I had Crystal show, there's a two-parter, I think. I, I only watched the one, and that was 14, almost 15 minutes. And it's dealing with the aftermath of the rapture, seconds after the rapture happens. Planes are crashing, cars are going off bridges, people are getting run over because people are just disappearing. And they're driving down the road. And if you're going 50, 65 miles an hour down a highway and you just, and the car's still going, you're flying an airplane 30 some thousand feet, uh, feet over and um, water, mountains, whatever, and the pilot, co pilot, what's going to happen? Doctor doing surgery on someone, they opened up. Either they going to go or the doctor, or either one, either way, somebody's going to, something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. A mother sitting there rocking her baby, and as she's rocking and singing, the baby is, Lord. Saints, these are things we need to think about. Mama's in the kitchen cooking Sunday dinner. Chicken is frying on the stove. I should say tofu is roasting in the oven, but we won't go there. Okay, greens on the stove, potato salad in the refrigerator. She got her cake in the oven. And mother goes to bend down to check the cake. Oven opens up, mother's gone. One of the children come into the kitchen. Mama, when is dinner going to be? Ooh, mother's clothes are there, but she's not. Saints, these, this is the reality of life. We get too comfortable here that we think this is it. We can't get comfortable here. 
God said, or Jesus said, I have come that ye may have life and have it more abundantly. He's given us this abundant life, but this life here is not for us to get so relaxed and laying out on the beach and, you know, all getting comfortable and forgetting about everything. I got to go away. I got to get away from this job and just leave things. I can't think about nothing else. You better be thinking about something. And that is he is coming back. He is coming back. He don't want to see not one lost. But as sad as it sounds, in his word, he says, let me find it. In Matthew.